What up, and it's John Shibu, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, we are here at Milestone Moto Park, and uh, I gotta say, this track's a W so far, what I've seen. I have really only looked at pictures. I've done one lap so far, one lap on this track just to kind of get the flow or just look around, um, dip, dip my feet in. But there is three parts to this. It's a, you know, motocross, veteran track, and a supercross. And you guys know I've been working on that supercross, so I'm very excited to get to that later. I hope you guys stay tuned, like and subscribe for you, boy. I do appreciate it. But that being said, I did, I couldn't pass up not doing this track. I, uh, this track is two dollars and fifty cents on, you know, the shop. I know a lot of people are biased and, you know, buying tracks, <laughs> buying tracks on this game. But hey, I would say right now, so far, first impressions, this track actually is a W, and I couldn't really pass it up too much either because I, uh, a lot of you guys don't know this, but I guess I'll open up just a bit. I don't really like talking about my personal life too much, um, but I, I. I I'm born in Ohio, but I grew up, grew up a lot of my life. Like I grew up, like all my teenage life, being in uh, California. So with this being said, like I never knew of this track, and I didn't know, I don't know much of, you know, dirt bike tracks because I grew up a, a street bike guy. You know, I've always grown up as a street bike kid um, and to street bike. So I, I haven't really done any dirt bike stuff IRL. Uh, you know, I've seen my friends, my friends have them, and I have a 450 KTM uh, Supermoto. So even then, I have a dirt bike, but I ride it on the street. But with that being said, I'm kind of salty that I didn't get to dirt bikes and didn't check this place out when I was there, you know? So maybe if I ever make a trip back to California one of these days, I definitely gonna have to give a go to a lot of these places that are, you know, in California. Um, with that also being said, um, for anybody who's wondering, I am not on the new OEM factories. Now hear me out. I am not on the, I mean not factories, OEM preview bikes. Hear me out on this. The reason why I'm not gonna download them or not anything like that is um, I'm a huge guy of liking to stay surprised, liking to get my feet wet as soon as they wanna come out. Um, I think I get fair, ooh, 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 ooh. yes. Okay, that, we're coming back around and figure that out. Um, I'm a huge guy of not trying to uh, kind of ruin any of my like, my surprises, you know? Like I like to be able to be like, okay, bet, new OEM's bikes out, you know, they fully got them tested and all that. I'd rather not get into the OEM preview bikes and then be like, oh man, this is super great. I like this, I like that. And then you guys be like, all right, bet, we changed this and this and that. It's like, what? Like the whole bike's a different bike, you know? And I, I, I guess that's my biggest thing is like, I like to be super nostalgic. I like to know I'm like, I can look forward to something. But if me downloading the preview bikes and it's just like, oh, well, I'm not too excited now for when they come out, you know, I get that like being a content creator, you guys probably want to see me, you know, make content on it. and. With that being said, I won't get too far off topic here. I want to get back into the track. With that being said, um, you know, being a content creator, you guys want to see me be, try to make content out for new things that are coming. I don't like factory bikes. I think it's just too easy riding. I'm still on the craft of trying to work better to, you know, be better on this bike, you know, be better on this game. So why sit here and try to ride a bike that's going to be granted more easy access? when I'm just not at that level yet to where I just want to have fun. I always want to grind at the moment. So yeah, that's my two cents on the factory bikes, OEM previews. I want to be excited for when they actually come out. I don't want to be, you know, fibbed with to where it's like, oh, well, these are the bikes, but we changed a whole bunch. But that, that's what I want them to do. If they don't like the new of the state of them now, you guys give your humble opinions to it. And then when the game bikes actually come out, you know, everything that they tested, if things need to be worked on in the future, okay, simple update, but hey, you know, I'm glad that you guys are able to do it now. Great people that want to test. I'll leave it to y'all for sure. You know, I'll, I'll definitely grind them out as soon as they come out. You know, if those are the actual bikes, I'll already be on them, grinding them out. You know, there's nothing I can do once when you set in stone to where it's like you need to ride the new bikes in order to join new lobbies. But right now, I don't, you know, I don't need to download them, so I won't. <clears throat> so anyway, back, that, back to the track, you know, um, we're rocking with this KTM so far lately. I've actually picked up on the KTM just for Supercross. But I've been actually really loving it on the outdoors too. Like it's been pretty fun. Like it's not bad. Other than a little bit of front tuck issues, you guys can see it. When I lean the bike over a little bit more or I come off a jump, um, it's not that much forgiving, I should say. So that being said, I'm still working out the front issue uh, problems. Um, and I also want to say thank you to everybody that's come out to any of my elimination uh, tracks lately. It is the holidays. I've been trying to give away as you know a good amount of chunk of money without <laughs> I shouldn't say breaking my bank but you know you know trying to get back to the community in any way possible this isn't me trying to one-up any content creator out there I guess I'd say that too 
Um, this isn't me trying to up, up one up any content creator out there that's not giving back to the community or doing any fun elimination giveaways or anything like that that's dealing with money back to the community instead of you trying to gain. Um, this is just me being a good guy as I always am, off the camera and on the camera, you know? I want I want to see people winning in my corner. I want to see people that want to stick around. I want to see them eat. If you're going to be at my table, you're not eating my scraps, man. You're eating my little, like, literally what I'm eating. If we're eating T-bone tonight, maybe we're eating T-bone. I want to get in that, that rut right there. We'll come back around. But with that being said, that's just the humble, genuine guy I am, IRL to here in the content. So, and I, I just hope I never change, and that's kind of the plan so far. Maybe we're almost at 5,000 subs, <laughs> and I don't see myself stopping yet to be a good, good person. But so far, the track is really great. Um, I gotta say, I'm just working on a little bit of these uh, tabletops. Uh, some are like huge tabletops, and some aren't. So, and I think that's the biggest thing that always gets me is because like they, you never know what's on the other side of a tabletop until you really mesmerize the uh, the track. Ooh, I wanted that inside, but ruts kind of hold you. The track looks beautiful. This is something I can literally just spin laps and practice a lot, um, especially for the outdoor season that's going to be coming up here soon. So this is something going to be really good. I mean, not outdoors right now, now, but as time goes on and the year goes on from Supercross, this is something I'm definitely going to have to come back to. Um, but I am excited to see the Supercross track. Uh, going to be like a little bit of first impressions for sure. But yeah, man, shout out to Trojan. Um, I know I always joke around when you guys like bring up other people's names inside the community. Like, oh, you know Trojan, you know this? I'm like, who? <laughs> I'm like, who? <laughs> but um, with that being said, shout out to Trojan. He did participate and not just him, I shouldn't need to just give cops in, but shout out to everybody that came out to my $200 elimination race. Um, but yeah, he did make a video on it and that was really cool. So I appreciate you just kind of giving me that little bit of fame. Um, with that being said, glad you had fun, bro. Glad, glad you enjoyed it. Um, seemed like a pretty chill dude to me. No kizzy, spin on the block till you get dizzy. But so far I'm running a 150 and I probably could be running slower. Okay, I know this is a small tabletop. Yeah, there we go. See, that, that that's the biggest thing about these tabletops is probably just gonna have to learn whether or not it's a send <laughs> to where you can get into another little rut or not but I guess I like it it's actually really cool and um, I gotta say for this to be like a IRL track I really wonder what this track looks like IRL like to actually come on here and rip man and I, I know a lot of you guys are like man this guy rides just street bikes and he's riding and playing a dirt bike game dude I know bro like I get it not everybody that like enjoys like enjoys doing something like I don't play professional football or professional this and this and that but hey we, we, we play the sport games you know what I'm saying because we're fans of it you know we're fans so with that being said I'm a fan of, of dirt bikes and I'm super excited for the season to come up and um, yeah I mean I'm missing a lot of people now you guys might hate me for this but this is my top five this is my top five so far I've been saying this a lot for 450s top I don't really have too much of a top five I just I probably have like a top two maybe top three uh, for 250s, but for 450s, it's gonna be Tomac, Jet, or vice versa. Tomac, Jet, Hunter Lawrence. Um, then we're going Ken Roxon and Malcolm Stewart as my top five. Yes, you guys are like, what? Chase Sexton? Not in your top five? No. Chase Sexton is not in my top five at all. He is not consistent enough for myself uh, to put him back in there. I felt like if you would have ever put money on that guy last season, man, he definitely lost you a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see the runners up. I feel like top top 10 for sure I think he's gonna be coming right in right in front of Cooper Webb I think Cooper Webb's gonna be definitely like a nine place guy Anderson uh, Jason Anderson will be in front of him Aaron Plessinger would be in front of him I, I, I feel like I shouldn't hate too much on Cooper Webb, but I just don't see much out of him Especially him just changing the bike, you know, I think Chase Sexton with the same thing talking about how Honda It was the bike not him. I mean look look what Jet was doing so yeah, I wonder, does any, now let me know down in the comment section, does any pros ride at this track? Like, is this like a well-known spot to see a lot of pros at? Um, you gotta let me know, for sure, you gotta let me know. But I think, I think a W track, for sure, end of the day, this is actually really sick to ride, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. So, oh, oh, finish it! Ah, oh, gosh, darn it. Um, I definitely want to see where the... Let's see, I think that's the vet track over there. Let's go to the vet track. That's I dropped my time by like 40, like five seconds when I probably could have been like you know, 10 seconds or something if I didn't fall. All right, I believe I'm going the right way. So I think we are going the right way, too easy. Yeah, it looks, it looks right to me. Too easy. 
Yeah, this is the veteran track. Like I said, they have a vet track. This almost reminds me, uh, I don't know if this is the same guy that did it, um, but I believe Exhibit had covered it. It was like an Arizona track in Arizona, and it kind of had a motocross track, a supercross track, and a vet track. If this is the same guy that made this track, that's a W. I actually, I really want to check out what his name is. What the chicken bone? Okay, this was created by BC Cre BC Creative. Okay, and um, I did a little research real quick. Looks like he came from MXM. So if this is the same guy that done the Arizona track, which I haven't given a go yet. I haven't even rode that track yet, which I really want to, but I was in Hawaii at the time that track came out. Um, yeah, I would love to give that track a go, but I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna have to do some research on that too to see if that was the same guy. But he did come out with Arizona, if that's him, Arizona track, which was super sick. If not, I'm getting it wrong with another person. Correct me, I do apologize. But it's always cool to see a vet track, um, especially for a lot of, you know, casual riders, older people that just, you know, want to get back on the dirt bike, have a good time. It's really good to have a vet track at your uh, local spot. Um, that's always fun, you know, especially for now, for now trying to rough up the, or get the uh, main track too dirty, too messed up, or too rough. <laughs> Create too bad of uh, death ruts, I should say, for the homies. Oh, dang, I probably can get up in that. But the vet track doesn't seem too hard. Probably just a lot of tables, little jumps probably upscaled for being in the game for sure but it's probably completely different probably a little bit a little bit less challenging IRL which probably what one jump one big jump ooh not even a big jump I feel like I'm am I going the right way <laughs> I feel like I'm going the right way but then like I just saw that jump and it looks like I'm going the wrong way but I think I am going the right way I don't know but th this isn't bad vet tracks vet tracks killing it all right ladies and gentlemen we are here at the supercross track at milestone gosh dang them whoops are huge i'm gonna have to check that out for sure it's a double okay so i feel like that's the finish line maybe i don't know we'll, we'll find that one out this is a wall jump i did take a look like sneak peek at what the track looked like and i'm having a hard time holy cow you want to stay up on the bike pal this goes around you can either use that burn or you cut in close triple in oh my gosh that was almost a quad bro dude i Possibly, if you rail that outside, you probably get a quad into a double out. Holy cow, that was actually pretty cool. To a supercross triple. Okay, nice sends. Honestly, this this scaling's not bad. Yeah, scaling's not bad. Gonna have to probably just work with it. And I, I've been working on my craft for supercross, to be honest. So, hope you guys are enjoying. Could that be a triple in off that little hump, maybe? Or is it a double in? I guess I'll have to find out. It could possibly be a triple in. I know this is a triple in two. I got to rail the outside more, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Now, I, like I said, I don't, I'm trying to low key focus up just a little bit more for Supercross because I feel like it takes a little bit more time, but I guess we'll talk more about this Supercross track instead of me trying to get any action. But man, dude, th does the scenery look great? Because if he definitely replicated from the outdoor side of it, that's actually pretty nice. All right, that's actually pretty sick too. I, I gotta say, my progress on Supercross has been so cool, dude. I've been, I've just been enjoying it. Oh, I didn't even see that rut in there. I'll have to check that rut and kind of slow down for it. it. Might save you some time, maybe not. But yeah, I gotta say, my 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 Supercross, like, I, I've been enjoying it. Okay, bet. Checked up. Triple, triple. That's easy, man. I like that. Railless outside. Probably could have stayed in third gear. Probably not, though. Second gear would probably do us just right. Get the triple in. Triple out. Man, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to put some really good prat, like really good, like I'm gonna put. Okay, I think you hit. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think you hit that little lip correctly, and you can get over and still triple. If not, I'll probably see if I just slow down, do a double, triple, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that's not bad. And then possibly a double in. I don't know. Maybe you can triple in. Maybe you could triple in. We'll come back around. Sorry if this is looking terrible, but like I love. I love being able to do motocross and like know that I can tackle the track pretty okay because motocross I shouldn't say motocross is super hard but it's not super easy especially taking time on this game but when I get to the supercross track I like talking more technical of like actually showing you guys like how my th thought process is to where it's like okay bet this is how am I gonna be able to conquer this for the next time and then you come close oh, almost got in there yeah, I, I just try to remember. I think the biggest thing is like me talking uh, obviously hinders. Anytime you're talking, you're only giving maybe 60 to 7%, 70% of like what you actually could do. So, you know, ooh. Okay, I gotta find a way to scrub that even harder because I feel like I'm, I'm almost hitting a quad for that. Ooh. Yeah, this, this track is actually a dub. I'm gonna have to definitely practice this off camera 
though so i just kind of definitely want to show you guys you know all three bits and hopefully you guys want to give three dot two dollars and fifty cents to this double in double i think i could triple but i guess that's the alternative line you could do double double triple maybe i don't know double double triple there or you definitely got to hit that triple in it's probably a skill diff at the moment until i actually sit down and work it but i feel like you can definitely get that triple in rail, rail that berm on the outside yeah these are some huge whoops dude i ain't even gonna lie huge whoops but that's pretty cool dude i mean honestly i'm glad that he's putting it in his own creation his own style it gives you something to work with and it might I'm, I, I can't lie. It might work out the bet. It might work out better for the new OEM preview bikes or the new bikes that are coming up. He's probably got some good tests on him. He was probably able to hit up the OEM team. I don't know. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Real more of that outside. You get a pretty good jump to where you're not OJing to almost a quad. Over the Supercross triple. Real more of this. Triple. Now, this is the only probably spot that I'm kind of not understanding down oh never mind i think i no oh no no how do i get that dude i don't know let me know down in the comment section how i'm supposed to hit that if you guys are hitting it pretty clean let me know dude i would love to know that and it's probably this section too double double i know i know for sure that's definitely like a triple in to stay faster but i have to figure it out easy peasy all right here we go i want to try to okay you basically you basically I was almost there. I feel like I got to get the pop over. That's all it is. I just got to get the pop over. Basically, okay, there we go. Just take it nice and smooth. Okay, instead of me being all nonchalant and trying to go super fast, take my time, actually get the get the speed, get the get the corner, and uh, the rest will the bike will do the rest. Okay, just go ahead and slide and glide over there. <laughs> you guys all have a great day, man. It's your boy IBS Kelson. I'll catch you all on the absolute next one. Pa 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 pee.